to 7.5 number 66. A store sells two models of laptop computers. The store stocks at least twice as many units of Model A as of Model B. The cost of the store for two models are $800 and $1,200 respectively. The management does not want more than $20,000 in computer inventory at any one time. And it wants at least four Model A laptop computers and two Model B laptop computers in inventory at all times. Write and graph a system of inequalities that describes all possible inventory levels. So let's write our inequalities. Um, so Model A, we have Model A laptop. I'm going to call that X. And then Model B laptop will be my Y values. It helped me with <laughs> graphing. So we know that the costs of each model are 800 for A, 1200 for B, but they don't want more than $20,000 in computer inventory. So I'm gonna put all the dollars in one line. So the first inequality will be 800X plus 1200Y and not more than, so it has to be less than or equal to $20,000. Then the store stocks at least twice as many units of Model A as Model B. So A, which is our X, and then Model B is our Y. We want twice as many, uh, at least twice as many. So what we're going to have to do is multiply 2 to the Model Bs, or our Y values, in order for that to work. So X is greater than or equal to 2Y. So at least twice as many. Next. We have, it wants at least four Model A laptops. So at least, so greater than or equal to four. And then it says two, at least two Model B laptops. So Y has to be greater than or equal to two. So here is our inequalities, or are our inequalities. And so now we have to get to graphing. So what we wanna do is let's simplify this. I think I can divide by 400 from the top equation. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide by 400 to simplify. So we have 2x plus 3y is less than or equal to 50. And then x is greater than or equal to 2y. So let me rewrite that. 2y is less than or equal to x divided by 2. And a y is less than or equal to 1 half x. And I have x is greater than or equal to 4. And y is greater than or equal to 2. Let's see what we want to graph. Um, let me see what I can identify in this equation here. I could convert it to slope-intercept form, but I know I'm going to get a fraction. Um, let's see, if I solve for x, the x-intercept, if I make y equal 0, so y equals 0, then let's solve for x. So 2x is less than or equal to 50, or x uh, will be 25, right? Uh, I'm just solving for the point. So 25, so I know I'm going to have to graph that point. So let's label our x and y axis. So model A is our x-axis, model B is our y-axis. Um, let's label these by fours, so four. And then I'll label by twos on the y-axis. So let's start with x is greater than or equal to 4. x is greater than or equal to 4. So it'll be this vertical line. And then greater than will be to the right of it. So I know I'll be shading to the right of that line. So it's just going to help me out. I'll shade over here kind of start it off. Then y is greater than or equal to 2. So it'll be this line. And greater than will be above that line. So we'll be shading above that line. Oops. So I got that one graphed. 
let's do the y is less than or equal to a half x. So let's see, start here. We're gonna go up one, right two, up one. So let's see, we can do up two, right four. That works, right, same thing. And then, so it'll just be this line here. And it's going to be less than, so we're going to shade everything below that line here. So I'm starting to see my intersection where it's possibly going to intersect. And then last, I need to graph the 2x plus 3y is less than or equal to 50. Well, I know the y-intercept, I'm sorry, the x-intercept is 25. So 25 is right here. And let's see if I can find another good point. Let us look at... Well, let's convert it to slope intercept form because we don't need to label the vertices here. We just want to get a graph on here. So we have 2x plus 3y is less than or equal to 50 or 3y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 50 divided by 3. Let's get y is less than or equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 50 over 3. And so that will, 3 goes into 50. about 16 times, right? So it's 16 and then 2 thirds. So 16 and 2 thirds is right up here. And so we can connect that line here as best as I can. <laughs> and then it is shading less than, so it's below in here. So we can see where our solution set lie, which is in this triangle. All right. So we wrote our inequalities here with before we simplified and then here is our graph.